don't you just love it when things go unexpectedly like a bunch of snow or when a tank crashes now this has nothing to do with the snow because as you can see we're nice and warm and dry in here but things do happen with aquariums if you're tuning in for the first time i'm james and you're watching blue dog aquatics um thank you so much to all the new subscribers you guys are absolutely beautiful and amazing and please keep sharing our videos and uh yeah it's amazing with your guys' support but anyway back to it so this tank right here this is a 40 breeder this tank has been running for about two years now now you're like well james you're talking about a tank crashing well what do we do it doesn't look like it crashed you know there's snails moving around do you realize that snails can live on just about anything you ever order in plants and there's still snails and they've been out of water for days yeah that's a snail for you uh, so but if you notice there are no other fish in here but there are fish listed now the first time this tank crashed was about oh what was it six months ago we had got in some jack dempseys and we're like oh they look healthy you know we didn't have an extra space to quarantine them we had some rainbow fish in here that were had been here for six seven months and so they were well established very hardy the new fish went in and within a few days the whole tank was dead and we're like okay there was obviously something we couldn't see um and so what we did was we drained the water level uh very low we did uh wa multiple water changes on it we treated the tank um you can see like the total waste right now is 207. if you ever wonder what these little markings are in the corner of uh fish stores um aquariums that is the tank number so that's tank 44 and this is the total waste, uh, so which is 207. On the left side over here, um, it tells me what was what kind of chemical we used to treat, and on what date it was treated. So that's a little insider. So you guys, if you ever wonder what those little markings are, that's what they are. Now, this tank we had gotten in a shipment. There was no fish in it. And we had gotten in an order of Electric Blue Acara and Tiger Oscars. Now, Juvenile Oscars are temperamental on a good day. And we had some, it was a cold day when they came in. Uh, they had gotten stuck in shipment a little bit longer. And so we did lose a few Oscars out the get-go. And so I was like, ah, oh, man, like, okay, you know, it's part of shipping. You know, I, I get it. But then we started noticing issues with the electric blue Acara. Uh, they were swimming funny. They were, um, their equilibrium was off. Um, and so I'm thinking, okay, like swim bladder issues, bacterial infections, like what, what are we dealing with here? And then every day we'd come in, there'd be another fish dead. Whether it was an Oscar, whether it was a uh, electric blue Acara, every day. And then finally we came in and all the fish were dead. Tested the tank, tested the pH, tested the GH, the KH, the nitrates, the ammonia. Everything tested out perfectly fine on this tank. Nothing was out, out of range. And that threw me for a loop because I was like, okay, I can understand losing a couple of fish, but not the, not the entire tank. And if it, this was like a one-time thing where we lost all the fish, okay, you know, it, it happens, bad shipments, whatever. But the fact that it's the second time that this tank has crashed, it makes me wonder if there's something else going on with this tank. So, you may ask, okay, James, well, what are you going to do about it then? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Tomorrow, which you won't see it on this video because I don't mix moving water and electronics together <laughs> but what we're planning on doing we're going to move all these plants out we're going to move them into quarantine because you can even see on some of the plants 
they're starting to brown out. That could be just because of the water lettuce on top. It might just be blocking out the sunlight, but we're gonna move these plants to quarantine just to be safe. Then what we're gonna do is we are going to strip this entire tank. We are going to drain it completely. We are gonna remove all the substrate. All these snails are all gonna go into quarantine because I don't want them introducing something into another tank. Um, we're gonna put brand new filters on, which we have established other established filters so we should be able to get this tank back up and going in no time but we're going to essentially start over act like it's a brand new tank remove all the variables and just start from scratch and sometimes when you have a tank crash that's just what it comes down to is just it sucks because you're like man i put all that work it's a two-year tank or it's a 10-year tank or it's a five-year tank or whatever but sometimes if everything tests right and no fish can survive, it's the easiest solution. So, unfortunately, this tank is gonna get scrapped. Uh, we're gonna start over and go from there and figure out what the issue is. Hopefully, with us starting over, um, or maybe, you know, when we open up this tank and take everything out, we can figure out maybe there was something that was hidden that we couldn't see or, uh, who knows but this is what happens when it comes to tanks that crash we never want to see it but it can happen um obviously we've done everything in our power to avoid starting over with this tank um we left it alone with no fish in it for almost a month um everything was testing out fine before we even put in new fish it tested out fine but it seems like whatever fish goes in here dies and if you have an explanation as to why that could be please let me know in the comments because i would love to know um but yeah i i don't understand it but so guys thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate each and everything that you guys do for us um let us know uh if you have any questions down in the comments i will respond to all comments it may take me a couple of days to get to them but I like to be interactive with our community and our subscribers. Um, so if you have a question, please let us know down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you are tuning in for the first time, please consider subscribing. We greatly appreciate the support. Share with your friends and family. And as always, guys, we love you very much. Stay safe with these crazy snowstorms and crazy weather. But we will see you guys. And remember, guys, we're doing two videos a week, so we'll have a new video out for you on Monday. So we'll see you guys then.